supplements that really help your, your personal disease process? Yes. And, and, and thank you for, for saying that, because I, I really have to stress this, that what works for me may not work for someone else. PCOS is very individual as far as what is going to work for us personally. So I have no problem sharing my supplements, but please guys, before you take a supplement, talk with your doctor, get your lab work done and make sure it's the appropriate supplement for you. So one of my favorite supplements um, that I swear by are the inositols. Um, and it's a naturally occurring supplement in our bodies. Um, and a lot of times with PCOS, we are deficient in inositol. So inositol is very similar to a medication that's out there that a lot of us have used and know about, which is called metformin. Now, the problem for a lot of patients with metformin is when you take it, um, it usually causes some pretty major um, IBS issues for when, when you're starting. And that's basically because the body is trying to reduce those insulin levels and your insulin is fighting against that. And then you're just not feeling so great. The thing with the inositol is it's a, a lot easier on the system. I can tolerate it. Um, it has helped improve my metabolic profile. Uh, it has helped lower my cravings. Um, and to an extent, my hunger as well, it helps with that as well. So that supplement, I absolutely love. Um, another one that I take, and I only take this again, because I had lab work done, and I know I'm extremely deficient, is vitamin D. Um, a lot of patients that have PCOS are also extremely deficient in vitamin D. So that's one that I would recommend people getting checked um, has made a huge difference as far as uh, fatigue with me because I was to the point where I felt like I couldn't get out of bed some days. Um, and just taking that vitamin D supplement has turned things around. And likewise, the other one uh, that I'm fairly deficient in that made a huge difference was taking vitamin B. So um, the vitamin B helped with the energy, it again, helped with metabolism. So those have been my, my three supplements. Um, I also take a multivitamin because I was told that, again, we're talking about foundational, that the, my, the multivitamin gives me a little bit of everything, um, which is good. And my body uses what it needs and gets rid of what it doesn't need. And then I have those extra supplements for things that I have uh, a little bit more trouble with. Yeah. And the inositol, I had never heard of that. I think a little bit until I, I really started specializing in insulin resistance and then specifically for PCOS. And, um, I know my daughter takes, puts that in her water every single day, and that can be game changing for women and bring that cycle back, you know, relatively quickly. Um, have you seen, uh, I think I've asked other people about this, but they, they weren't real sure about it. The, like the 40 to one ratio with the, the myo inositol or pyro inositol, is that something to look for? Um, or like I've seen some people really support that and, and others don't. There is actual, uh, research that supports it. And when you, you want something that's as close to the process in your body as possible. So um, there are companies um, that create a product that has that 40 to one ratio. And that's because that's how the myo and decairo uh, inositols occur in your body in that ratio. Um, when you are over supplementing or un under supplementing with just myo inositol or decairo, you may not get the effectiveness that you get from doing that 40 to one ratio. So that's something that you want to look for.